subdivision is a robust and easily implemented algorithm used to increase mesh resolution and smooth meshes. Consider this mesh with a single face. A subdivision algorithm will iteratively divide each face into several smaller faces, thereby increasing the face and vertex count. Grasshopper's native commands for subdividing meshes is limited in functionality. Hence we will use an additional plugin called Weaverbird. It is a topological modeler that contains many of the known subdivision and transformation operators. To install Weaverbird, locate this file in the downloadable resources provided with this module. Double-click on the file, and the plugin will install automatically in Rhino Library folder. The plugin will appear in the Grasshopper toolbar. If it does not, restart Rhino 7, and it should work. Weaverbird is an essential add-on for this course. The toolbar is structured into six categories, with the important ones being Define, Extract, Sub-D, and Transform. Define is a collection of six platonic solids in mesh geometry type. Extract offers operators to extract mesh attributes and repair meshes, similar to the native components covered in previous chapters. Transform offer geometry modifier operators. And Sub-D offers eight options for subdividing a mesh, out of which we will use three in this course. Catmull clark subdivision is an algorithm that subdivides the input mesh into quad faces and smoothens the output mesh. The algorithm iteratively adds new vertices for each face to approximate a smooth surface. The inputs required are the mesh to subdivide, level of subdivision, and smooth naked edges. Level requires an integer input which is the number of repetitions of the subdivision process. Each subdivision level divides each face of the mesh into four quad mesh. This option controls the smoothness and number of faces of the resulting mesh. Smooth Naked Edges is an optional integer input with 1 as the default input. Hover over the input and read the description for inputs 0, 1 and 2. Input 0 ensures that the input naked edge boundary is maintained. Input 1 results in a smooth mesh output. Input 2 ensures that only these corner points remain fixed and the remaining mesh is smoothened. Weaverbird's loop subdivision is an algorithm that subdivides all faces of the input mesh into triangular faces, and smoothens the output mesh. In the loop algorithm, each triangle is divided into four sub-triangles, adding new vertices in the middle of each edge. The inputs required for this command is the same as catmull clark subdivision. Combining these subdivision modifiers can smoothen low-poly mesh models into smooth mesh geometries with high face resolution. The other important component that we will use during the course is the Weatherbird's Offset Mesh function and Mesh Thicken. Offset Mesh uses the mesh normal direction to create a new mesh at a specified distance. The inputs required are the mesh and the offset distance. Weaverbird's Mesh Thicken component uses the mesh normal direction to create an extruded offset of the specified thickness. The input required is the mesh and the thickness value specified as distance. <laughs>